Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video guys, I am going to tell you how to install a DC drone brushless motor onto your drone frame guys. I have already done the assembly and unboxing of this drone frame guys and also done an in-depth review of this Zing 2207-1800 KV brushless DC motor on my channel guys. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So guys, if you are new to assembling drone, ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys, if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so as you can see guys this is my drone frame guys i have already done the assembly this is my rooster 230 mm drone frame as you can see on the arm side guys here you have the mounting holes to install the motor guys as you can see these are bigger holes guys so these holes are m3 holes guys so as to be able to install an m3 compatible motors onto this drone frame guys so guys in my previous video of unboxing this zing 2207 1800 kv we have seen that these motors are m3 mounting motors guys and compatible with 6s battery so these are compatible motors guys which we will be able to install on this drone frame so before we start installing the motor guys there is few things that i would like to do guys so guys here i have a 3m transparent dst guys these are not paper dst guys this is a thicker dst so this is the dst guys that i would like to put it here between motor and the drone frame which acts as a cushion and also reduces the vibration which is generated by the motor in addition to that guys since this is a dst guys it will also keep the motor at its place and stick it to the drone frame so in addition to the reduced vibration it also provides the stability guys so that is what we are going to do guys let's quickly put the dst and again put the holes guys so as to be able to install these motors onto the drone frame let's quickly do that so let's cut the small piece of this DST and then stick it onto the top like this and put it here so that all four holes are covered. And then using the screwdriver guys, I will be able to mark the holes. Before that guys, let's quickly check. Uh, as these are longer holes guys, I want to check which part of the hole is matching with the motor holes so let's do that quickly so guys as i have checked whenever you put the motor on to the drone frame guys so the inside part is matching with my motor frame guys so as to be able to install so i'll quickly mark the holes towards the inner part of the hole like this and then quickly remove it we'll do it again for all the four holes guys like this so that you have the holes to mount it this guys you have to do it before peeling off the other side of the dst so that it does not mess it up so now that i have marked the holes guys now let's quickly remove the other side of the dst and put the motor onto the top let's quickly do that So guys, as you can see, I have removed the top side cover of the DST. Now let's put the motor. Ensure that guys, whenever you install the motor, the wire is pointing towards the arm of the drone frame guys. This is super important guys. Do not install it in any other direction. So that whenever you do the wire management, your wire goes straight onto the top of this arm. So this is super important guys. And ensure that it matches the bottom hole like this and gently put the motor here onto the top so now guys since the motor is there onto the top let's quickly tighten this up using the screws that came along with the motor here onto the back side guys since you have four holes guys that is where i am going to put the screws and then tighten this motor up let's quickly do that so guys as you can see i have put all four screws onto the back and this is the motor guys so it is holding so guys let's quickly tighten them up one by one so like this So 
So as you can see guys, I have tightened all the four nuts. Now my motor is fixed onto this arm. Before we repeat the process for all four arms, ensure that guys, your wires is straight here. As you can see, like mine, it is pointing towards the center of the arm. So as to be able to have a better cable management for these motors whenever it, you connect it to the ESC guys. So that is how you need to install all the motors. Let's quickly do that. So guys, as you can see, I have successfully installed all four motors onto all four arms of my drone frame, guys. I have followed the same process, guys. First, the DST, and then put in the screw from the back, and then put the motor onto the top and tighten them up. Ensure that, guys, all four screws that you have onto the drone frame, guys, holding this motor, they are super tight guys because if they are loose guys it will lead to the vibration which is generated by the motor to transfer onto the drone frame and then your sensors will be also not working properly guys because of the vibration transmitted from the motor guys so ensure that guys it is super tight so that there is no scope of vibration due to the loose motor which will happen whenever your motor will turn on guys so ensure that guys your nuts and screws are all tightened up and nothing is loose onto your drone frame guys so as to be able to have a good quality drone that you are going to make so guys in my future videos i will be telling you how to connect these wires onto the esc guys as you would have noticed all the wires are now pointing towards the center from all four arms onto the center guys i will have an esc which i am going to use to control this motor guys so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so this concludes the tutorial on how to install a brushless dc motor onto your drone frame i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies